and again for them. And now the shoe is on the other foot here. As Nocturnal, he smells blood on the water and he wants to, you know, give him one tip for tat here. Pushing forward now as uh, he doesn't want to allow them to get the res and they've completely given up. Matt Pickett will get finished off. Between them, he's able to get that bat off as they push forward. It's TSM coming now in for the third party. Eurisis squad will get finished off and Hal enjoying that one. Just a little bit too much, has to be careful. Albert Lately will be able to cover him. Premier, Premier goes down and it uh, looks like they might have just finished this off. No, Imperial Hal is the one to go down. Albert Lately able to bring in and they do bust out the Ooh. ultimate right there as the big grapple coming in from Albarelli, but looks like they're not able to clean this one up. They are weak over towards the side. And I'm curious to see why they're not doing this a little bit late. They send that onto that team without being the team to go in third party. They could have forced those two teams into fighting each other very early play coming in for TSM, basically ruining the game for the team that they go and hit with the crypto all in the EMP and virtually giving this game on over to Borton, Z Davis and the Sunny. I think one of the ideas was that, uh, of course, this is a Gibraltar caustic team. This is a team that's supposed to win in the late game. And so TSM did was again practicing for this kind of play style that they're really trying to uh, bank upon. But as we swap on over here, as uh, we have post skill Chentric and uh, Hierarcha, they actually got aggressive. Um, as Very skilled team. You do have the right armors for this one. Oh. Here comes the pinch, and it's going to be an all-out bloodbath here in the middle of Sorting Factory. They do have to back off. They've got this bubble to work with, but know that Thermite's a little bit too late, and he might be taking some damage. No, Sanox is the one to go down. Hierarcha surviving with a sliver of HP, and somehow they're doing it. Crust will be able to get that knock onto post kill. Peach with the... Oh my gosh, the triple take! That's going on on top of World's Edge. The more chance that you are going to have to win this one. And look look at this. Great grenade. Free kills coming in for your Reese. Great massive shots as well. Very, very nicely executed. Yeah, picking up two there. And uh, you got to imagine the comms don't come through Portal. But there we go. He is now down now. They have to hold this low ground, but they're taking so much poke damage. Only hitting for 26 now, and it's all three members pushing into the building. Premier down to 20, or excuse me, 50 HP. Only gets a 20 HP purple armor. There we go. That's the fresh swap, but again, it's going to be a 1v3 here as he's trying to survive for his squad. Hits a nice 78. There's the 26, a 39 onto tech, and now uh, it's actually your Reese. It's a 1v1 premiere with 20 HP. Tries to pop that bat. No, he holds it with the Mastiff, takes him down. And Portal, which is going to be a big deal. Here comes the bubble play. This is the exact play that they needed to do. They avoid the area. The shots coming in. Fury immediately taking out Bubsy. And 303, just fantastic execution.